Uh, hopefully I, I've grown as a, as a coach, as a teacher, as a husband, as a father. Um, I believe totally that I have. Uh, but I hope I, hopefully I'm better tomorrow than I am today. Bobby Petrino officially introduced as the next offensive coordinator at the U of A. Coming up, we'll live with a recap of a news conference that wrapped up just a few moments ago. And it's been a wet Thursday. Coming up, we'll let you know how much has fallen and how much more will fall the rest of this evening. Covering news where you live. This is 5 News First at 4. And we're going to start this afternoon, of course, with the return of Bobby Petrino. Thanks for joining us. I'm Darren Bob. Alexander has the day off. Petrino and Coach Pittman meeting with the media for the first time since that announcement of Petrino's return a few days ago. 5 News Sports Director Jacob Seuss is live on campus where that press conference wrapped up just a few moments ago. Jacob, I know we've talked about this the last couple of days. It just didn't see it just seems weird to see him at that table again. Darren, there's no denying 12 years later it was emotional. There were a few times during the press conference where Bobby started to get a bit choked up just thinking about the last 12 years, the journey he's been on from Missouri State to Texas A&M back here to Arkansas. He talked about how all the streets are different, how even the front of the building here at Razorback Stadium is different. It's been a long time coming, and it's something that – Sam talked about happened pretty quickly, about over a 10 day span. Pittman got a text from Petrino's agent, something he said he didn't even know about, telling Pittman about that he had interest in coming back and getting this opportunity. And here it worked out. The two had a phone call that Bobby said lasted about an hour long. And, you know, they really connected. Sam Pittman spoke about they didn't have much of a connection until Petrino brought his Missouri State Bears here into Fayetteville back during the 2022 season. But a lot of philosophy things wise, they connect really well on. And while it was an emotional day, an emotional journey for Petrino to get back here, a feel good story of second chance. It's also about winning. It was clear that getting back to the SEC last season with Texas A&M, Petrino really enjoyed himself being in College Station, but being with Jimbo Fisher, maybe they didn't connect as much. He talked about having to learn so much new terminology, calling the plays for Texas A&M, and it's clear being here in Arkansas, Sam Pittman is going to let Bobby loose, let him do with this offense, you know, what he did here in Arkansas so many years ago, making this team oh so successful. So a lot of excitement here at Razorback Stadium with the return of Petrino. And while to some it may be a controversial move to bring Bobby back to this football program, it's that's something he talked about and really just wrapping up what it means for him to be back here in Fayetteville 12 years later. There never was any anger at all. You know, I was always a Hogs fan. You know, I watched... People would ask me, Do you, are you going to watch the game? Are you going to watch him play? And I watched as many games as I could. I cheered for him. I rooted for him. You know, love the players. And yes, he heard all the Bobby chants last night in that Arkansas win over Duke. Him and, him and Sam were in one of the suites of top, and yeah, he certainly enjoyed that one. But now the celebration, the welcoming back, that's going to be in the rearview mirror real quick. Now it's time for Petrino to get to work. A lot of work to be done on this offense. First of all, who's going to be the starting quarterback next season, KJ Jefferson or someone else? Petrino going into the transfer portal with Sam Pittman, talking to all those recruits. A lot of work ahead now. But Bobby Petrino back in Fayetteville, part of the Arkansas coaching staff for the first time in over a decade. But for now, here in Fayetteville, Jacob Seuss, 5 News Sports. All right.